BT. Yo. <laughs> What's happening? What's happening, BT? What's good? I told you. Listen, I told you. I told you the boy is all, is, is all bad business. You see, now it's the Raymond Mutaya and all this other shit. What's going on with that fight? Why you don't like that fight? He went back to start talking about that he want to fight. Um, Keith, um, 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 Kid Austin. Uh, Kid Austin. He's going back saying he want to fight Kid Austin. But you just did a match make for Kid Austin against Abdullah Mason. You said that Kid. You said that that he said that Kid Austin wasn't ready. He need to fight Abdullah Mason. Raymond Mutaya and Robert Garcia come out and say that they'll fight him, and then he he'll switch to something else. <laughs> I think, but you, I think you know, Shakur hungry for a fight. I mean, how you gonna be hungry for a fight and you passing in every fast, you passing up every fast food in town? <laughs> 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 the man driving right past, jacking the bike. I'm hungry. They go jacking the bike. They go McDonald's. They go Burger King. I mean, goddamn, stop a lot. I mean, I mean, I'll be look. I'll be, I'll be honest, Bill. Half the time, I don't even really be paying attention to the social media stuff because that's not how business gets done in boxing. Like, not unless, they- not unless you part of the Haney team because we've shown, and I think he's coming back. And they're they're saying what they're gonna do, but he ain't never sent out an offer to nobody. How are you going to be all this that you say you are with all the fans, but you keep saying, send me an offer. Uh, send me an offer. Uh, send me an offer. Well, when you got an offer, you didn't take it, nor did you counter. You didn't counter the offer. You went into the WBC. You were not even gonna do good business with nobody. Nephew ain't but gonna don't do you think- No, I'm telling you. He is not going to do good business with nobody. As soon as you start, he's going to mention the name, just like he mentioned the Mutaya, mentioned with Robert Garcia. As soon as they start talking about it, he starts talking about something else. He's going to start talking about the weight. He's going to talk about everything, dog. Yeah, but isn't... So, look, when we talk about Shakur Stevenson business, right? Like, when we talk about he ain't going to do good business, isn't Shakur Stevenson business top rank business? Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. And... We know that Top Rank and the, that Hall of Fame promoter and Bob Aaron, right, mm-hmm. and their team, when they want to make something happen, they come out and say that's what they want to make happen. They call on it. I mean, they talk about it. Uh, yeah. yeah. I mean, well, that, but that's kind of my point, though. Is like, don't you think he's in a situation where, like, even though he may say, hey, I want this guy, hey, I want that guy, Hey, I'm willing to do this. At the end of the day, it's really kind of what Top Rank wants to do. No? Can Can Canelo do what he wants to do? Yeah, but Shakur's not Canelo. Can Can Can, um, can Tank Davis do what he wants to do? I mean, I, I, I mean, I, yeah, I guess so. But I mean, he's still with a, a company that you know maybe they have some you know different ideas on what they want him to do. No. Um, can Devin Haney do what he wants to do? Devin Haney can do what he wants to do because Devin Haney is he's he's free. He's not tied to a company like that. Other he's than never, Devin Haney's promotions. Listen, Devin Haney has never been a slave. Mm. He's never been a slave. And we're not we we're from Oakland. We're from Oakland. And one thing that my mom, being a being a, a Black Panther, you know, being in that movement, was we wanted the ability to own our own shit. We wanted the ability to to be um, considered men, considered bosses, considered kings, considered queens by our work. You know what I mean? And that's what I believe that the that the Panthers stood for is equal opportunity for everybody. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. The opportunity to compete, the opportunity to buy, the opportunity to live where, where they were saying that we couldn't live, the opportunity that we're supposed to have the same rights with police officers as everyone else is I, and that that kind of mindset came from Oakland that's what we believe and you can't tell us that we're going to be a slave to nobody to no company no nothing so I don't know how the fighters come and push boxing back to the horse and buggy days and they just they just be uh, yeah, yeah, you know yeah that's another thing he said call my promoter talk to my promoter but you out talking <laughs> Man, but talking. but 
paying, send an offer, and then when you go to talk, he said, talk to my promoter. But he let, but but that's him letting you know. Like, listen, I, I mean, you know, in order to make it happen, it's it's got to go through top rank. I mean, top rank has to be involved some way, some shape, somehow. Like, he's not really, in my opinion, I don't know, because I don't really know Shakur business, you know, Shakur's business setup or anything like that. Ain't but, no business. It's bunk. It's, <laughs> it's bunk business. That's what it is. It's bunk business. Ain't no real business. You know what I mean? Because yeah, I mean, he, he's damn near two years older than Devin. A year or something older than Devin, and he still keeps saying the same old shit. Which you know is what? what I, mean? I mean, I I think he's willing to fight anybody and everybody. Well, but when are you going to fight anybody and everybody? The, what, no, we don't want the everybody. We just cool with the anybody. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just saying he's in it. Like again, he's you guys are fortunate because of the the path that you traveled in boxing. You didn't take a traditional path, whereas Shakur took a traditional path signing with a promotion and, company, and I, a promoter. 